Hey Michael, Jellyfish Lighting. So today we're installing a house in Draper, Utah. Uh, let's go take a look at it. Perfect, and it's coming over. We're gonna have three coming from there, and then we're gonna have three going up and out. Got the three already in there, okay. behind that core bowl. And then, who's running those lines? You can't come out, buddy. <laughs> Hey, will you take a second and just explain what you're doing with the controllers for me real fast? He will. Right, go ahead. Go ahead, Corey. I'm just mounting a controller, power slot supply, and a controller. One controller is doing three lines for that way. And then the other That's controller the front and power of, front supply. That's the front of the house there going to the front, right? Yeah, and then the other controller and power supply are doing the back. Okay. Okay. Do you know the total length on the house? I think it's like 700. 700? Something. Okay. There you go. Track <laughs> now him do the bob and the track. Have him mob track and doing. Okay, so I'll get those two pop outs. Where you get to Tell me how we're getting to this one. Fourth line. Who? Anyways, come, Who? Now, come now. Come over here. I need fourth line though. The line, line. We're gonna have a line come out, do that, wire channel, go on around. So do that little pop-up thing under there? Yep. So and then we're gonna do that. We need to get two lines to, to come out right there because we need to get a line to those. No, we need three lines. One, take it back and do that pop out, and make it jump through the shingle and do that other pop out. Okay, but so we're gonna have we're gonna have one line go that way. Then we're gonna need three lines to go up. Okay, I like that. I like that, three lines. One will do this. One will do the pop out. One will do those. One will go back and do those. Yep, one will come back and do those. How many controllers are you putting on it? Two. Two, and the power supply? Yeah, so we've got. Jumps about here, back down to there. Okay, yeah, so then this line's gonna come around and jump down. Okay. This line's gonna come around. Let's come across. Ooh, yeah, yeah, so we don't need to come out with three lines right there. Well, we still need three. We need one for the top, one for there, and one for these, right? Yep. You just don't need a bottom line. So this can take it, can it? Yeah, I can do all that. Yep. So that means, so we have a total of six lines. We'll call this line one. Okay. It needs to go on the power supply. For what? Oh, I know, and that's after semi fixing it. Really? Yeah. Oh, it yeah, just has a we'll call this one. It. It's supposed to all line all two. Fixed. Oh, back. no. No, we're going to the backyard. We'll call this one line two. But we had the Greek okay. pillars with the rounded, and two. rounded edges and stuff like that. It was, it was bad. But it's just kind okay. of that uh, Parthenon. Oh and one. Was. All these were parking on tops. And I was like, that is so line three. Okay. Yes. We'll call this line three. That's our one controller, right? Well, no, I knew I was. No, 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 no. Because I want. I want the back on one controller and the front on one controller. So if we come out with three lines right here, call this four. Call this five, and this six. So I want one, four, five, and six on the front controller with the power supply. That puts two and three on another controller. Okay. Controller. Power supply will be lines. One, four, five, and six. One, five, six. Okay? Okay. The other controller. Will be lines two and three. This might make sense. <clears throat> Okay, so those are just built over the top. And you can also kind of like from here. Okay. okay. Now if you crawl over yeah, you towards the garage. I know you mean though. Yeah, it's still be tough. Yeah. Is there is there any way to get down to like this, this one? You can measure this cubby one exactly. Hole. 
and you can say, okay, from there to, you know what I mean? And then you can, you can have like guarantees. I know this one is already charge. Is this the, is this the whole house? Yes. He wants, he wants this done, he wants this done, he wants all the pop outs done. If you do like this little pop out right here, and if this was aluminum, this is, I smash this job out, no problem. But it's not. We can't pull panels down to drill holes. How do you get that run right there? Shingles, the shingles, right? We're gonna come out down here, and we're gonna go in that flashing. You see that white flashing? It sits on the shingles. We're gonna go behind that flashing to get up there. Yeah, I see it. I mean, you have like some sort of special channel designed to get here, right? Yeah, I, I, I designed wire. a special channel just for this job. It's wire channel. Just get all your in there and get it over here. Out right here. Huh? This little pop out right here. You want that too? It? Yeah, he wants everything on this house. Once the chimney's done, but there's no possible way. <laughs> <laughs> well, the chimneys would look cool. So, are they doing the front, this front here too? Yep. That's probably not as hard, is it? We're gonna use a channel to get there as well. Yep. We're gonna have to come over and then go up in the inside corner with that wire channel. Over from there. From the pop out. Well, we're coming we're out the right out. there. We're yeah. coming out right there with the yeah. three lines to go up. Yeah. The line that comes around the garage is going to jump in a little wire channel to this, and then we're going to jump in a wire channel to this, and bring it around. And the customer is very aware of everything that we're doing. He knows we're going under shingles. Yeah, yeah, right. 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 Push your bolts up. Hey, are you trying to feed that across to that hole on the corner? Yeah. Right. right. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna drill a hole here behind the corbel. Yeah. So that way you don't see the wires. Hey David. Hey Brian, I got a meeting at 
riding the wire, 16-4 wire in this little custom track. Okay. Just a little thinner than, than the usual blank track. Okay. And so you're running a, just right around the front there. Right down there to that pop out. I'm going to do that pop out yeah. and then across Coming there. Right now, I'm down, down Somehow get it up into the soffit and through a shingle up to that pop out. It's going to be hard. Oh, you're going to do that dormer up there yeah, this, as this well off of that line? Turn into that dormer. Oh, wow. Give me cutters. All right, cool. Yeah, it's going to be some magic. So, so we're going to be running a jump wire into the shingles, and what we'll do is we'll pop up each shingle. And then as we pop it up, we'll tuck the wire beneath, and then we'll use these little nails that I have here. Okay. And we'll tack the shingle down, and then I'll put silicone over to the nails so there's no leaking. Okay. And we'll just run it from this corner to do the other corner. Do you tack the wire in with sh uh, silicone as well so it kind of stays in place and doesn't No, so it? once you shove it up inside the shingles and you pull the shingle down, I usually tuck it up as far up as I can go, and then I'll tack the okay. shingles down with these little oh, nails. Oh, okay. kind of close to where the wire is. Yeah, okay. and it will hold it down. So. Okay, so where about how far up are you going to actually be doing that towards the... So so right where, where that, the soffit right, hits, or yeah, so right where that soffit is that meets with the shingle line, you can see there's a line of shingles that comes all the way across. Oh, so right you have to run at the least distance from yep, right so there. I'm just gonna tuck it under there, come all the way across straight, go up and over the hip the here. Bridge, yeah. Yep, on the bridge, and then I'm just gonna put it on to the other side. Perfect. The awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Go. And then I could do 40 in an hour. 40 sticks. Paid a dollar a stick. 
But then I designed, now I just recently designed the wire channel. That's new. I designed the fat track. Oh. So we noticed he was putting some small kind of roofing nails in the roof right up here, right? And he was just kind of putting caulking on and just kind of touching it over the nail. Does that actually really protect it? Yes, it does. It's really good. Now versus it's caulking. It's a little tiny nail anyway. We use little tiny. Sure. Little tiny nails. So going into a shingle with a little tiny nail and then going over it with silicone will seal it. Okay. And if it's a, a bigger thing, you're like, you have to there, for example, if there's a hole that you have to drill under a shingle or something, caulking to hold the single shingle down and caulking the hole. Uh, Brian once said, uh, pulling the wire in and out of the hole to pull the caulk in, not Brian, uh, Michael, pulling the wire in and out to kind of pull the caulking into the hole. Yes. Seal it on the inside. Is there a... Is there a proper way that you teach guys to do it? Well, when you lift the shingle up, you have to have the, the wire loop down a little and then over and then go up. And you can't seal the whole the whole shingle. You gotta leave room for water to get out sure. in case water gets in there. But then you seal around the hole. Yeah, and you kind of pull the wire in and out and then you seal it again. Yeah. And that keeps it sealed. And as long as you do it that way, you ne really never have problems with never it. Never have problems. Okay. Right? Yeah. When we're done, you can't even see it. I know, I was looking at it and uh, like if I didn't know he was putting a wire right there, I don't think that you would see, you wouldn't know that that was there, yeah. So going over that ridge, he, there probably are tacked down with either nails or some roofing caulking of some sort, huh? Yeah. So he's just kind of prying that up? Yeah. Not enough to take the whole thing off, just enough to slide the wire up. Sure. Uh, yeah, jump from right there to right there. Is that right? Is that where we were? Just I, I think that's where we were up there in the attic. Yeah. So you see the like where there's the soffit, and you see those little uh, what are called deep holes. That's the, that's where the lighting was. That's where we could see the light. So I feel like we're somewhere right in there. We're gonna try it. I think we'll be able to make it. Huh? So then I'm not. I'm like I'm not sure. So right now we're just gonna do the jump. I'm not sure how we're gonna get the line to that. We'll figure that out. Top, right, and then sprinkle stuff yeah. on top of it. Just leave it kind of, leave it, leave yeah. a leave a blob. Okay. I always try to get a little bit of it inside the hole. Yeah, thing. I do too. I'll, I'll, I'll like push it in there, push it in there, and then I put a blob on yeah. top. Yeah. All right, so uh, Devin, you're good to screw off some kickers right there. Oh, uh, well, you're doing getting those lines there. I'm gonna hop over here. We gotta jump on this chimney. I'm gonna uh, get this jump around, and then uh, we oh, can start slapping track on this. All right, cool. Hey, so I noticed up there that you only have a wire coming out the two insides of those dormers. That's because we still got to run a wire up to the thing. So there was no attic access for me to get a home run to the left side oh, of the dormer. Okay. So I was able to do the jumps internally okay. from one side to the other, but we still got to run our line up. You got to do an external to the, the left yeah, side of that yeah, first dormer, exactly. I see. Or why can't exactly. you drill in right there and feed your wire into the attic and then have it come out over here? You know, I do. I think you're right. I think I can actually get to that corner right there. If you can, let's drill yeah, in right there and just that. feed the wire in. Yeah. And then, okay, so Devin. Let me throw kickers up in there. All right, yeah. But do you, you understand what we're Yeah, okay, cool. All right, so I got any wire. Uh. 